Luis Rubiales, why have you agreed to do this interview with me? Hello, Piers. Uh, I think it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. You are a leader of opinion. A lot of people, million people, follow you. And I think that a lot of people, million of people, uh, have an opinion about me, about what happened. And for me, like I tell you, it's an opportunity to, to tell what really happened and uh, to give the truth to the rest of the people. Now, Luis, because of the legal action, that you're now facing. You want to do the rest of the interview in Spanish, and we have a translator who will translate as we go. I want to explain that to the viewers so they understand why you're now going to switch into Spanish. Yes, and, and I want to say thank you because I know that uh, it's better for you if we do everything in English, in, in English but I, I feel comfortable if I speak in my language because I don't want to have any mistake in the translation or something like this. And, I will be comfortable doing and answering in my, in my I language. would rather that everything that you want to say is how you want to say it. So we'll do it in Spanish and that's not a problem. Um, Luis, it's been three weeks today since the Women's World Cup final. And that was when you planted this kiss on one of the players, which has turned out to be the most notorious kiss in history. And it's turned your life upside down. How have the three weeks been for you? Bueno, para mí, eh, yo he estado bastante fuera de... For me, I have been outside of the tsunami. No sé cómo llamarlo, de, de esta avalancha o de este tsunami mediático. Eh, But at the same time, with my family, I have suffered. With my friends, I have suffered. Como mi, mis amigos sufrían y como... And a lot of people have been telling lies. ...a tergiversar o a contar falsedades y and with all these lies the truth hasn't surfaced so obviously with all those lies the truth has not surfaced and I would like to keep my opinion here on this digamos que que toda la verdad no ha llegado a todo el mundo y crearse una opinión cuando únicamente alguien conoce muy poquito o una parte suele ser una opinión equivocada partiendo de la base que yo reconozco que que cometí errores Do you accept that what you did with that kiss was wrong? Hombre, eh, está claro que me equivoqué. Es, eso es evidente. Pero lo dije desde el principio. Of course, I have said it from the beginning. I made a mistake. And I apologized in a sincere manner. Prácticamente me sentía un jugador más. I was very happy. I felt like another player. But being the president of the association, I have apologized unreservedly. That is not the actions of the president of the association. Why did you kiss Jenny Hermoso? It was a mutual act. She came towards me, very happy. She lifted me up. She lifted me up in the air. When we hit the ground, there was a quick conversation. And there was a quick conversation when we hit the ground. We were both emotional. We congratulated each other. I gave her a quick peck. I asked her, can I give you a quick peck? Which is normal in our country. I think she gave me one or two slaps in my side. She was laughing, and that was it. No intention. Of course, no sexual connotation of anything. Just a moment of happiness. Just great joy in that moment. Para nada, sino un momento de fusión, de emoción, de alegría, de felicidad. I want to show you a video which is, shows what was going on on that podium with some of the other girls too. So Lewis, this shows what is going on on the podium here. And you're picking up quite a few of these girls, you're hugging them, you're kissing most of them as well, but on the cheek. And I was struck by that, that it's very tactile. I mean, more than you would expect perhaps from someone in your position. Uh, Todas las entregas de medallas con chicos y chicas eh, que he tenido cuando hemos sido campeones o subcampeonas y tengo un nivel...
all the medal celebrations with guys and girls, all those celebrations are mutual, they're normal. Con toda la expedición es algo mutuo, es algo que ellas también algunas me abrazan a mí. A couple of minutes before, they lifted me up. Amazing harmony, everyone is happy. Es decir, había una armonía fantástica, estábamos felices y hubo historias bonitas de superación. I think Latin people, and it's a cultural question, have that tactile, uh, it's pretty normal in a Latin world between guys and girls, guys and guys, girls and girls, and it's just normal to that level of excitement and happiness that we felt during that final. No hay más problema que la tremenda felicidad que uno siente cuando es campeón del mundo. If the Spanish men's team had won the World Cup, would you have interacted with those men the same way? Would you have hugged and kissed them? No tenga duda, 100%. No doubt about it, 100%. 100%, there was a kiss with a manager on the lips. No, no ha salido, o se ha visto muy poquito. And also when I was a player, there were many moments where we avoided relegation or we got promotion. Where we have given what we call pecs on the lips many, many times when they were happy times. It's a question simply of joy. The problem for many people, is that when you came to Jenny, Hermosa, you kissed her, you held her head with your hands and you pulled her towards you and you kissed her full on the lips. And many people think that was completely inappropriate behavior. A lot of people have seen this still image. A lot of people have seen still images of that or indeed the kiss, which lasted two tenths of a second. It was a moment of fusion. In fact, just before that, Jenny lifted me off the ground. She didn't ask me. It was just a moment of happiness, of fusion. People who see that have no context to this. It was an anecdote, but I do recognize that Pero reconozco que como president, as president, I shouldn't have done it. Piers, what you need to also understand is that she, all during this time on the podium, she's holding me, she's laughing. As she moves away, she continues to laugh, and she's saying things, exactly those that I am repeating here in front of you today. Your position is that she lifted you up, and that you asked her if you could kiss her, and she said yes. So people have read my lips unheard, and you can see what is said clearly. The act, uh, she lifted me beforehand. That's clear, that's on the video. Everyone can see that. And I'm going to maintain the same line that I have given for the past three weeks. Jenny Hermoso, in a live Instagram broadcast from the dressing room, said, yeah, it happened, the kiss, but I didn't like it. You're her boss. You're the boss of the Spanish Football Federation. Well, technically you are. The content is all friendly. It is jokey. She's laughing. You have to take the context in which that was done. Even on the day, she invited me into the dressing room to announce that the government will give a holiday in Ibiza for all the players. We are giving a few days holiday in Ibiza. I went into the dressing room to give the message afterwards. You have to understand that when you say I am her boss, there is no relation. I'm the president. I don't pick the team. I am the president of the Football Association, the Spanish Football Association. It's true, you are, you're the, but you're the figurehead of Spanish football. And 
in that interview, sorry, and in that Instagram live, we also see that you say that you want to marry Jenny when you go to Ibiza, which may be a joke, uh, but also some people may see that and see that maybe your motives were more than just friendly. No. That actually you did have some sexual motivation. Otherwise, why would you want to marry her? Bueno, pero eso está aclarado. Me alegro, además, creo que es bueno venir. I am glad we are here talking in front of millions of viewers. Porque, en primer lugar, yo no digo que yo quiero casarme con ella. Lo que estamos juntos y decimos, iremos a Ibiza, yo no fui. The trip to Ibiza, of course I didn't go on the trip to Ibiza. It was a joke. I mean, there is absolutely nothing. No recuerdo bien. Era un tema... Bueno, yo sí creo que esto se tiene que explicar. Realmente es una broma, ¿no? Es una broma, además, pues ella... She has a partner. I didn't go to Ibiza. It is impossible that there is anything there. There's absolutely nothing. It was a joke. But, Lewis, you can understand, perhaps, that people have watched you single out Jenny Amosa on the podium for the only kiss on the lips. And then in the dressing room, you make a joke, as you say, about wanting to marry her. You can see why some people think, hang on a second, this is really inappropriate behavior by the president of the Spanish Football Federation. Con la historia desde el principio hasta el final no es interpretable. Es claro que es una broma. I understand that somebody could possibly misunderstand. I also understand that there are people who understood very well, but twisted the information. Y también gente con mala fe que lo ha utilizado. Pero hay muchos más videos, pues donde hay jugadoras. There are lots more videos where you can see me celebrating with all the other girls in a normal, excited fashion, as you would do on one of your best days in your life. Es que estamos estamos en en una celebración. En cambio, yo sí pedí permiso. Eso es innegable porque se han leído mis mis labios y fue un una cosa así. Sin maldad ocurre entre padres e hijos, ocurre entre amigos, cuando te toca la lotería, cuando, oye, mira, ojalá... You can imagine if you win the lottery, or hopefully soon one day the war in the Ukraine finishes. I mean, celebrations will go on up and down the globe. People don't ask permission. It's just a happy, happy time, and people celebrate. But, but it's important in the celebration, not only me doing things, no. <laughs> the most of times, they doing things to me, hitting me, uh, calling me Ruby, that is like my friends call me, and this kind of things, you know, was a very familiar uh, atmosphere and very fami familiar celebration. But there, there will be people, Lewis, who hear you say that and say, come on, you're not gonna seriously be playing the victim here. Yo respeto la opinión de todo el mundo. Cuando I respect. I respect everybody, all educated opinions. What I don't respect is opinions of people who are trying to twist the truth. My mom is in this, my dad, my kids have been insulted. This has turned out to be a snowball created by spurious arguments and people. Creo que ha sido una bola de nieve por varios intereses, algunos de ellos espurios, contra mí. My intentions were noble, enthusiastic, 100% non-sexual, 100%. I repeat, 100%. De verdad, que no ha habido ninguna maldad, y mucho menos una cuestión sexual. Eso, de verdad, descartarlo al 100%. A partir de ahí, pues bueno, entiendo que como presidente de la federación tienes toda la razón, Pierce, no obré como debía. Lo hice mal. Es la primera vez que me ha pasado. I do understand that, as president, I should have acted in a more solemn, cold and diplomatic way. So, Lewis, I want to show you another video. This is on the team bus after the victory. And you see Jenny there. She's laughing and joking. She's actually showing her teammates pictures of Ike Casillas with his girlfriend, who was a TV reporter, next to a picture of you kissing her uh, on the podium. 
people were comparing the two. And she's drinking beer and she's laughing with the other teammates. And then a little later, you see the, the teammates and Jenny all, or mainly the teammates singing there, Beza, 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 which is kiss, 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 kiss. And they all seem to be laughing and finding this funny. You're actually at the back of that, of that coach and you arrive from the back and they start to chant Prezi, Prezi, which is you, the president. When you watch that, what, what are you seeing here? Uh, lo, lo he entendido. Puedo contestar directamente. Lo que veo es un equipo campeón del mundo. So what I see is a video whereby the whole team, the staff, after having won the World Cup, are having fun. I hear the chanting, kiss, kiss, kiss. I hear the chanting, Prezi, Ruby. These are words that my friends use. I was up behind. I came up to acknowledge. I was a little bit ashamed, to be honest, and I said, I'm going to go back to the back of the bus and sit down. Why were you feeling ashamed? So they were asking me for a kiss. That's why I was a little bit embarrassed. I think it's ironic. What I would like to do is read you a message off my phone from somebody who was on the bus. This explains what happened. Staff member, non-playing staff member. 23rd of August, three days after. I have got lots of messages for all sorts of people, players, friends, family, etc. This particular one was three days after the match. Good morning. I would like to give you thanks, eternal thanks for everything that you have done for us, President. You have given everything for us in order to achieve the goal of the World Cup final. I am very thankful to be able to live one of the best moments of my life with my family over there. And that's thanks to you. And also, I want to give you all my love in these difficult times. What we have achieved is amazing, huge, and that's thanks to you. Don't cloud anyone's judgment by these people who want to ruin you. I know you're amazing, you're strong, and I know you will continue to fight, Ruby. A big embrace. So, on the 25th, 26th, this person, plus 10 more, wrote a note to say that my act was misogynistic. So, what I asked myself is between the message that I've just read you. And Pierce is one. I have a lot of them. But that From was family. one of the 11 female coaches. No, it's, it's one of the staff, technical staff. A woman uh, or a man? No, I'm, I'm not going to, to you say. You said it was one of I, the 11. I have from women. And I have for men. No, I understand, but on, on the particular one you're talking about. If I saw, if I saw you, uh, other, I, I, I'm not going to do. I'm going to a criminal court now. No, I understand, but um, my point is, no, I, the, I, I all, can't, the, all I, the eleven members. I, I can't say to you, but I can answer you. That I understand, but this, when you said it's one of the eleven, 
it was the 11 female coaching staff who resigned that day. So ah, we no, 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 no. I think you are speaking about the, ge the, the footballers that didn't want to come. No, no, I'm talking oh. about the female members of the coaching staff. No sé si la He's saying men and women that resigned, but your, not your just point, women. Your point, Lewis, is we don't know who that is, and obviously I can't verify that. But if what you're saying is true, what you're saying is there were people sending you supportive messages who then resigned and said what you had done was outrageous. No quiero juzgar. I don't want to judge, but when you have such a huge current, a, a torrent against, I don't want to be a judge. When you have got a current against one person, a torrent, a current, it's very, very difficult. It's giving me huge problems in life. I can't understand that people have missed out on jobs and everything, but I am an honest guy, and this is just not right. Eso me ha llevado a tener muchos problemas en mi vida. Y creo que la gente conmigo, por lo que sea, pues es muy difícil encontrar gente que anteponga, pues porque están puestos de trabajo, sus familias, hay muchas cosas. Yo también puedo llegar a entenderlo, pero en mi caso tengo muchos mensajes como este. Muchos. There are pictures and video footage of Prince William, the Prince of Wales, at the Euros final, at the Women's Euros final, a couple of years ago. And he is greeting the England lionesses who won, but he's far more reserved. He shakes their hands. If they ask him for a hug, he leans in and hugs, but he doesn't kiss anybody. Do you wish with hindsight, and hindsight's a great thing, but do you wish with hindsight you would behave more like Prince William did on that occasion? Bueno, yo, Dios me libre de comentar cuestiones de la monarquía. So I have a lot of respect for the royal family. I'm not going to enter into debates about the royal family. I have met King Charles years ago. I know him. I have apologized for this. I have apologized on several occasions. So if you are asking me, in hindsight, would I do it differently? Of course. The intelligent answer is yes, of course. Lo evitaría. Una vez dicho esto, Pierce, eh, yo me I have said on many occasions I made a mistake. But do you think it's normal that when I am on the street, people stop, they wish me all the best, they put their kids up towards me to take some selfies? Se hacen fotos conmigo con niñas pequeñas. De verdad, Pierce, ¿tú crees que alguien pondría a sus hijas, a sus hijos? Do you think that's normal behavior if I was a sexual predator or if I committed an act of sexual violence? I accept I have made a mistake, but this, this is something else. I've talked to a lot of people in the last three weeks about you, about what happened, and opinion is very split. Some people think what you did was appalling. They think you're a sexist pig. You should be fired immediately. Other people think there's been an overreaction and that the attacks on you have got out of hand. Other people aren't sure what to think. They know we live in different times. They know that the kind of thing that you did now uh, offends a lot of women. Perhaps 30 years ago it wouldn't have caused such offence, but today it does. Different times, different moral code. Which of those do you think best reflects the reality? There's a different way to think. Many, many millions have seen this story around the world. What they have seen, however, is limited information. In Spain, we have seen nearly all the information. However, what is published is very different to the sentiment that I am seeing on the street. Information publicada no tiene nada que ver con el sentimiento en la calle, porque yo ando por la calle, no me escondo. Because I don't hide. I don't bow my head. I am on the street. I'm not hiding. And the information that is published in Spain very, very different to the public opinion on the street.
The kiss caused a lot of controversy, but so did something else you did that day. You were sitting just a few seats away from Queen Leticia of Spain and her 16-year-old daughter, Infanta Sofia, the princess, and you very provocatively grabbed your crotch in a way that, frankly, I watched that and thought that just with the members of the royal family sitting there and a young 16-year-old girl, again, was completely inappropriate. Este gesto for this, I am truly ashamed, more from an internal perspective than anything else. There are no excuses. In Spain, with guys as well as women, there's an expression which we probably translate to something like, oh, my genitals, or something to that respect. So this vulgar expression, basically what it means is, bravo, well done. When the final whistle went, Jorge Vilda looked at me and said, this is for you, gesturing quite strongly. I gestured back and said, no, no, this is for you. This is for you, for all the suffering we have had. And so I made a gesture. It was unfortunate, but I didn't. It wasn't in a negative connotation. It was to say, bravo, well done. Futbolistas o entrenadores en el pasado, el mío no. El mío era un, fe, un gesto afectivo muy soez, pero afectivo hacia el entrenador. Do you apologize to the Queen? Have you personally apologized to her? No, because I, I, I couldn't have the opportunity to, to speak with, uh, with the Queen. Would you like to apologize to her now? No, no, yes, I did. I did. I mean, directly to her? Uh, yes, yes, of, of course, again, and all the times. Um, uh, of course, they, all the f uh, royal family, they know me. I, I know our king and is a, a top man and a spectacular man. Um, I know him near 15 years ago or 14. Um, uh, I hope uh, they will know um, anything is going again, anyone. But uh, I apologize because it's not the, the behavior I had to, 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 to have. Your initial reaction on the night when people started to criticize what you'd done with the kiss in particular was we do not pay any attention to idiots and stupid people. It was a peck between two friends celebrating something. The criticism is really all just nonsense from dickheads and dumbasses. These are just losers who do not know how to see the positive side. Do you regret expressing yourself like that? Bueno, yo quiero hacer una so, I'd like to make a reflection here regarding my errors. In the beginning, I spoke to several members of the press who said, no, this is nothing. It's just a small anecdote. In the beginning, I spoke to several members of the press who said, no, this is nothing. It's just a small anecdote, no big deal. We think the exact same as you, but... Entonces, creo sinceramente que hubo un momento en el que esto tomó otro cariz. At some stage, at some moment, this has changed, and it's now being viewed in an entirely different context. A otros contextos, de otros ámbitos, que obviamente, pues, quizás no tuve en cuenta al principio y debí de tener, pero esta es la realidad. The next day, August 21st, the RFEF released a statement to the Spanish news agency EFE quoting Jenny Hermoso as saying it was a mutual, totally spontaneous gesture because of the huge joy of winning a World Cup. The Prezi, Rubiales, and I have a great relationship. It was a natural gesture of affection and gratitude. Did, did you know about that statement before it was made public? Bueno, yo, aparte de esto, escuché sus... Uh I think I have heard, apart from this, I have also heard in many instances in social media and interviews where Jenny said this is spontaneous, nothing but an anecdote. But really, I don't think I want to enter into this anymore just to focus on myself. 
eh, hayan hecho otros, yo creo que tengo que comentar lo que he hecho. She says she never said those things. Bueno, yo lo he escuchado decirlo en radio. I have heard it on the radio. So she's lying. No, yo no voy a hablar. Uh, no, I'm not going to answer that, but there you have the radio. You can listen to the radio yourselves and form your own opinions. This isn't good for anybody, but I'm not going to call anybody anything. On your way back from Australia, you stop at Doha and you issue a video apology saying it was two friends celebrating. You ask viewers to ignore it as an insignificant show of affection. And you rounded again on the losers, fools, nonsense and idiots looking to make more of it. People have said that by doubling down in the way that you did. No. And calling it a witch hunt, that you were sounding like Donald Trump. No, yo, uh, no, I don't know where this information uh, is coming from. Basically, when the plane stopped for a temporary stop, I didn't talk about idiots, losers, fools. I don't know where this information is coming from. No hablé de nada de eso. Pero es cierto que ha salido alguna información manipulada y que entiendo que que hay gente que. So I don't know where this information is coming from. But what is true is that some sort of manipulated information did come out. Y Piers, he venido aquí a decir la verdad. Piers, I have come here to tell you the truth. Nada de perdedores. Nothing about losers, fools, idiots. Nothing about that. Hablamos del video. We are talking about the video in Doha. The Spanish Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez, after seeing the video, he said, I think that what we saw was an unacceptable gesture, the original kiss. I also believe the apologies that Mr. Rubiales has given are not enough. I even believe they are not adequate and that therefore he has to continue taking steps. The acting Deputy Prime Minister, Yolanda Diaz, later went further, said you should stand out. She said you've represented the worst of society and called your behavior sexual aggression. So give me your reaction first to the Prime Minister's comments, that he didn't feel you went far enough with the apology. I'm not going to comment on the president and the vice president, but what is clear is that I put myself at the disposal of FIFA's body, a psychologist at FIFA, with anything they want to find out. Una persona nominada un psicólogo, después me puse a disposición del de Departamento de Integridad cuando me requirieron. Also a board, integrity board, with anything they want to find out. And what's true is I'll put myself at the disposal of any other board with any information they want to find out, because nobody wants the truth more than I do. There was, as you know, a furious response that built up over the days after the final. Uh, from the wider football world, including the England Lionesses who'd been defeated by the Spanish team in the final. Every single member of the Lionesses tweeted the following. Unacceptable actions allowed to happen by a sexist and patriarchal organization. Abuse is abuse and we've all seen the truth. The behavior of those who think they are invincible must not be tolerated and people shouldn't need convincing to take action against any form of harassment. We all stand with you, Jenny Hermoso, and all players of the Spanish team. What was your response to that tweet that they all tweeted? No voy a entrar en, en nada de lo que haya opinado nadie. No quiero... So once again, I'm not going to comment on third parties. But what I want to say is that this is not a debate about men or women, progressive or conservative. This is a debate about the truth. Under no circumstance was there any aggression. And under no circumstance was there any sexual content. That much is evident by the actions of everything that you can see. Para mí es una evidencia. Y otra cuestión es, pues, lo que se haya montado y el click que haya habido. So when, when the England lionesses, every one of them, every woman in that team, tweet that it was abuse and we've all seen the truth, are you saying they're wrong? Mm. No quiero catalogarlo, no quiero opinar sobre los demás, ni quiero más polémicas, Pierce. 
I don't want to comment on fair parties. I don't want any more wars here. So look, I know the truth. I don't want to comment on that. I know the truth. In life, mistakes are made. But I'm very calm with my inner self. What's important to me are the people close to me. And I am very calm about this. Es un paso muy importante y yo en ese aspecto estoy 100% tranquilo. Y quiero decir una vez más. Ampiers, I want to say that again. I made a mistake. I apologize, but let's be clear. Under no circumstance is this sexual aggression. No abuse. Por supuesto que no. Of course not. Of course not. It's an effusive, happy moment. It's the same line that I have given from day one. Of course not. Woody Allen, the Hollywood director, who's had his own problems with allegations of sexual misconduct and abuse, which he's always denied, he came out and defended you. He said the kiss on the soccer player was wrong, but it didn't burn down a school. He has the duty to apologize and go ahead. They didn't hide. He didn't kiss her in a dark alley. He wasn't raping her. It was just a kiss and she was a friend. What's wrong with that? Yo solo ir al cine o con mis hijas o, o acompañado, pero Woody Allen y Quentin Tarantino han sido los únicos directores que han conseguido que vaya solo. Woody Allen and Tarantino are two of the only directors that would drag me to the cinema with my daughters. Similar to not wanting to talk about third parties, I won't comment on this. Cada uno tiene su opinión y bueno, lo que sí que me quedo es con el sentir general de la gente que conoce. Just to say that the people who have all the information, not part of it, it's clear there was a mistake. But it's also clear there's nothing more. There's no sexual harassment or violence or anything like that. Que para nada hay lo que se está hablando, que es otra cosa de mucho menor entidad y poco más puedo decir. Lewis, you said that at your press conference on the 25th of August, you said that you were the victim of false feminists. What did you mean by that? Bueno, no, so, no fue una, una rueda de prensa. Fue so first of all, general. it wasn't in a press release. It was in the extraordinary annual general meeting. What I wanted to do was to focus on my defense. This issue, as far as I am concerned, is part of a bigger concept. And that's it. That's where that came from. You have three daughters. They're all quite young. How difficult has this been for them the last three weeks? Well, I have a lot of so, I am very lucky. I've got three beautiful, mature, yes, but sensitive daughters. I think they are suffering more for me, for my parents, than for themselves. They have friends. Sometimes they call me to give me strength. Eh, hablan continuamente con amigos y amigas y me, me llaman incluso y me ponen al teléfono para decirme ánimo, fuerza, pero a mí me ha afectado What muchísimo que, que the determinada press. prensa but the press taking an interest in my daughters for a kiss that was two tenths of a second again I don't delve into anyone's private life, and I don't appreciate that the press are delving into my daughter's lives. I've never talked about anybody's private life. Later, I will show you a video of my youngest playing football. She's wearing a shirt with my number and name on it. Very, very emotional for me. Me emocionó mucho. Have you had some very emotional times during this period? I've had support from my mother, my father, cousins, nephews, nieces. I've had 
dentro de, de it comforts me a lot that people, the ones I love, are close to me, and also people I don't know who come and provide me with a certain amount of closeness. Of course, it's very comforting. Of course, I would have preferred not to go through all of this, for sure. Your mother went on hunger strike. She went to a Catholic church and went on hunger strike and ended up, after two days, being taken to hospital from the effects of the hunger strike. What was your reaction when she told you what she was doing? I was yesterday with my mother in Motril, in my city, my town. I bought her the ice cream that she loves. I spent a little bit of time with her, but it's true that I was very scared for her. At a certain point, her ankles completely swelled up. She suffers from hypertension. Listen, we spent a nice moment. I have no doubt my mother would do something similar. Unconditional love of a mother is a powerful thing. But did you fear when she was taken to hospital that you might lose your mother? That she would give her life for you? Then, Pierce, uh, I have no doubt your, your mother is a great woman. Um, about my my mother, I I was thinking she 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 is 72 years old and she has some problems. Then when she called me to say that uh, it's 1920, I'm here in the church and I say, okay, I'm going for you. No, no, the church is closed five minutes ago and I I'm here. I'm going to uh, stay here. I say that was uh, I really. Remember that I, I, I thought one problem more, but she, she think that praying, she is helping me, and she did. No, no, no more words to, to explain. We've got to a situation now where FIFA suspended you for 90 days. A letter signed by 81 Spain players, including the entire World Cup winning squad was released saying they wouldn't play until you were gone. They described your actions as violating the dignity of women. The letter also included the statement from Jenny Hermoso saying she had not consented to the kiss or lifted you in the air and quoted her as saying, I feel obliged to report that Mr. Luis Rubiales' words explaining the unfortunate incident are categorically false and part of the manipulative culture that he himself has generated. I want to make it clear that at no time did the conversation to which Mr. Luis Rubiales refers to in his address take place? And above all, was his kiss ever consensual? I want to reiterate, as I did before, I did not like this incident. When you read those words, what did you feel? So, in regards to the non-consensual, the picking up, we have already talked about that. And it's clear in all the videos, so I'm not going to address that. The FIFA. FIFA... In regards to FIFA, the temporary, the process was very, very quick. There should have been 10 days to reply. Instead, there was an email of one hour sent to some of the FIFA executives in Latin America at 5 or 6 in the morning. Eso llega al presidente del órgano que decide. Creo que en Colombia, en Latinoamérica, a las 5 o las 6 de la madrugada, de la mañana, so they made a quick decision to suspend me without giving me the chance to build the defense. Objectively, I think that was completely wrong. Sin explicarme los fundamentos y sin darme posibilidad de haber alegado ni antes de los fundamentos ni después porque no me llegan. Esa ha sido de manera contada objetivamente cómo ha actuado FIFA Y bueno, pues creo que yo tendré que seguir defendiéndome. Con, por supuesto, respetando el principio... So, whilst I believe we need to respect innocence until proven guilty... Un seleccionador... In the same World Cup, there was an act of sexual violence that hasn't been dealt with and is ongoing. Supuestamente mantener relaciones sexuales con sus jugadoras estuvo en el Mundial, no se le suspendió. <laughs> sí, sí, en el Mundial Femenino. Y en cambio... 
Yet in my case, this has been done and dusted, and a provisional 90-day sanction made within hours. Procedimiento rápido y extraño, y se toma una decisión que sin duda lo ha cambiado todo. You think that's hypocrisy, double standard? No, no voy a catalogarla, pero desde luego es. Yo no sé si. I am a lawyer. I don't understand the fact that I haven't been able to defend myself before or after. I am a lawyer. I don't understand that. Después, porque no me han mandado los fundamentos. Yo soy abogado y esto no lo puedo entender como jurista. The your federation, following this statement from the Spanish players and the statement from Jenny Hermoso, threatened Hermoso with legal action and said that you're telling the truth, thereby implying that she was lying. With hindsight again, was that a mistake for the Federation to put that out? They then deleted it. But was it a mistake to target Jenny Hermoso in that way and call her a liar? I can't remember what the communication said. There's a lot of, uh, of stuff now. I can't exactly remember the communication. It was, it was deleted. I think that what I would say to you is a lot of women have written or tweeted or said that they've been in similar situations where somebody higher up than them at work or wherever it may be, a, play, a person in a position of more power, like you in the Spanish football world, may do something inappropriate. And in the moment, you go along with it because you're celebrating winning the World Cup and you don't give it as much thought as you might. And then the next day, when you see the media coverage and you see the pictures and the videos, you feel humiliated. And I've seen women write this who've been through something similar, albeit different. Do you accept that perhaps Jenny Hermoso in the moment maybe was celebrating and just thought, okay, it's okay. But that she, the more she thought about it, the more she felt violated. I have said my story in all of this. It is the truth. I'm not going to change it. I think one of the reasons that you're in the problem that you're in is that your federation publicly called Jenny a liar and said you were telling the truth. When in fact, it's a complicated situation with two different recollections of what happened. And it may be she's being as honest as you are in her head about what she felt actually happened there. And it may be you feel the same way. And so there's a disagreement there. But for your federation to publicly trash her, I felt that was unacceptable behavior by the federation. And if you're Jenny Hermoso, you've been humiliated. You've been called a liar to the world. And that may be why she's now taken the further action that she's taken. No, bueno, es que yo no, uh, no puedo hablar ahora mismo en un proceso judicial uh, penal. So with a judicial review, I'm not going to comment on that. I think what's important is that I focused on what happened. I can't talk about what other players said, what other managers said, different federations. You know, it's down to the judge. And what I need to focus on now is my honor and respect. You know, I was thinking if Prince William, who's president of the Football Association here, if he had done to one of the England Lionesses, had they won the game, and if he'd been there, he should have been there, but he wasn't there, if he had pulled one of their faces towards him and kissed them on the lips, there would have been real outrage around the world, but also this country. People would have thought that was completely outrageous behavior. Do you understand that? I tu Twitter. I tu Twitter, and I think Piers, I have read your Twitter. I know you are an honorable man, of that I'm sure, but I'm sure you have made many mistakes in your time. But that doesn't classify you as somebody that commits sexual violence. The issue in question here is that, and I have said this 10, 15 times, I have made a mistake. I have made a mistake. But it is how you categorize that mistake that is what we are talking about here. Creo que no sé cuántas veces lo he repetido, 10 o 15 veces en esta entrevista. Lo que no puedo desde luego entender es que le hayan puesto una etiqueta de algo que no es. Yeah, I I completely agree. The problem you have 
is that on September the 8th, Jenny Hermoso filed a formal legal complaint against you, which will now proceed through the criminal courts alleging assault. And there was a further allegation of coercion with Hermoso telling the prosecutor that her relatives had suffered pressure from you and your professional entourage to say that she justified and approved what happened. What was your feeling when you heard that she was making this a criminal prosecution? Jamás he presionado a nadie. I have never pressurized anybody into anything. You categorically deny that? Totalmente. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And nobody in your entourage, your team, has put any pressure on Jenny Hermosa? Yo no he I have never pressurized anybody. I have never sent anybody to pressure anyone. There was an allegation that uh, Jorge Vilda, who was the coach of the women's team, uh, who initially supported you, he applauded you when you gave your statement in public, and then said your behavior was unacceptable and was a macho attitude. There was an allegation that he had tried to persuade Jenny Hermoso to be supportive towards you. Is that true? Yes. Who, who said this? That he had tried to persuade Jenny Hermoso to be supportive towards you. No. Have you heard that? No, 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 I don't think. Uh, in Espanol, no, no, no chance that Jorge Vilda pressured anybody. There have been many, many people with aversion. That version has changed. Again, I'm not going to talk about third parties. I would be very, very happy for all the hours of video, all the hours, every single one of the videos to come out in the public domain. I will have no problems with that. There's been a strong reaction from the Spanish men's players, both current and past. They issued a statement of solidarity. The Spanish, Spanish men's team striker, Borja Iglesias, quit international football in protest. Sergio Ramos, one of the greats of Spanish football, said you behaved in an unacceptable manner, you made a mistake. Instead of talking about Rubiales, we have to take the opportunity to congratulate the women's team, the world champions. That's what we should be talking about. I hope the football has the representatives it really deserves. And Hector Bellerin, who used to play for my team Arsenal, put a statement on Instagram saying it's truly shameful what is happening. Representing our country with that vulgarity, misrepresenting the victim's statements, on top of that having the courage to blame her, going on to victimise her for having committed abuse, a facts for which no one can go unpunished. Football is a social tool to advance and progress. Machismo should have no place within this system. The narcissist never believes they've made a mistake. He's capable of lying, manipulating the truth and making the victim guilty in order to maintain his power over others. Very strong words from Hector Bellerin about but, you. But, but uh, Pierce, uh, you, you can read me 2,000 or 2 million because everybody spoke about it. Some of them spoke before to see some videos and some information. Others spoke after. Others changed what they say before. But when you're called by an international the, player, the, 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 when you're called the international a lying... Player, yeah, but here's my question. When you're called a lying narcissist, who's going after the victim. That's got to hurt, hasn't it? I mean, the, the, the international players read, uh, um, communicate, so, so similar if you uh, compare it, that the word I say in the General Assembly, that I had a mistake, very big mistake. I say, I'm sorry, sincerely. Um, I think that they continue saying that now they are going to focus in the sports side then I upset and I don't want to comment like uh, everywhere, uh, every, everybody is speaking. Do you accept the argument that your behavior was macho? No. And you don't? No, my behavior, my behavior was inappropriate, but no sexual content. No sexual macho content. Macho doesn't have to no, be sexual. No, you ask macho me. Macho hasn't got to be sexual. No, yeah, but I'm going to ask you with a question you did me uh, some minutes ago about the men team. Did you do the same? You asked me before. What I ask, what I answer you. You said hey, you did. Yes, I did when I was player. I kissed and no two, uh, no uh, two, como se dice, dos decimas de segundo. Uh. Two tenths of seconds, okay? More. 
course. Do you, do you think, Lewis, do you think, I can see the impact this has all had on you. And it's, it's a very difficult thing to be accused of what you've been accused of. Do you feel that now it's become a criminal matter, that this has got completely out of hand? Do you think that is a massive overreach? No quiero... Uh, yo, yo soy abogado, soy ciudadano español donde... I am a lawyer. I am a Spanish citizen. I have been through many processes, criminal as well, and nothing has ever stuck. If you were convicted, and it's a big if. No. No, no. Uh, no, no. But if you were convicted. No, no, no. no. Well, you, I have to ask the question. <laughs> okay, okay. If you were convicted, you would face potentially a prison sentence. Have you thought about that? About the worst case scenario that you might go to prison for a kiss? Es algo que, de verdad, repito. Again, I have full faith that the truth will come out and everything will be fine. But you do not believe in your heart that you're a criminal. Creo que, que te contesto con mi cara. Yo soy, soy una buena persona. Que en un momento de máxima felicidad. Take a look at my face. I am a good guy. Look at my face. Look at me in the eyes. The situation of max happiness. Read my lips. Max happiness when a war ends, when you win a World Cup, and events like that. It's an amazing feeling. It can be nothing more than complete joy. Do you regret that all the attention since the Spanish women won the World Cup has been about you and your behavior and not the women who won this amazing tournament. It gives me an incredible amount of sadness. With the job that we've done, we've invested. We've built the budget from 3 million up to 27 million. The elements of professionality that we've given to this team, we got more teams below the national side it just makes me very, very sad. It should have been the best day of your career, and it turned out to be the worst. I am very happy. I was very happy for us to be champions. I made a mistake, but it's not just about my mistake. It's about people manipulating. There's nothing casual about this situation. I have made one error, and they have categorized it. What it's about for me now is to defend my dignity and honor, and that's something I will do. When you played, you, your nickname was Pundano, which is Spanish for pride, because of your tenacity and hard-working style of play. Are you proud of yourself as you sit here today? Un hombre es el conjunto de todas sus acciones durante toda su vida, y un error. When you look back at one's life, a man's life, one mistake can't cloud everything that a man does. I said I'm sorry. I said it with sincerity. I hope I have some good health and I have some years left to watch my daughters turn into fabulous women. You know, we make honest mistakes. I have made them before. They have always been honest mistakes and at no stage to hurt anybody. I'm not talking about this mistake now, I'm talking about before, but nothing against my values. You've said repeatedly that you're sorry for what you did, but you haven't apologized directly to Jenny Hermosa. 
now is your opportunity. Would you like to apologize personally to her for the way she was left feeling about this? Lo que ha ocurrido es malo para todos. So what happened is bad for everyone. Y, repito, yo estaba allí. We had Jenny lifting me. We had the fleeting keys to tens of a second. En un contexto de alegría. Y but what was created from that is crazy. So what's left is for me to defend my dignity. I understand that, but I also understand that she feels very differently about what happened. And it seems strange to me that you would keep saying sorry for what you did, but you won't say sorry to the woman that you did it to. No. So it's not about that, Piers. It's about humility. What we had in the beginning was two versions that were exactly the same, and therefore an anecdote. And now all I can do is defend the stance that I have had from the very first day. I'm going to try one last time because you keep saying you're sorry and you made a mistake and you shouldn't have done it. But you won't say sorry to Jenny personally. And I'm curious why you're reluctant to do that. Putting aside any of the, of the possible prosecution and so on, I'm just curious why you would say, yes, I made a mistake. Yes, I shouldn't have done it. I wouldn't do it again if I had my time. But you won't go that one step further and just say, Jenny, I'm sorry. Si me lo preguntas por última vez, te contesto encantado por última vez. Lo que sucedió... So what we had is a spontaneous act, a mutual act, motivado por la alegría, an act that both consented to, which was driven by the emotion of the moment, the happiness. So I maintain that that is the truth of what happened. So again, just to be clear, no sexual content. And everything that happened was driven by the emotion the effervescence of the day and the happiness. If it was all as you say, why was it such a big mistake? Because a president can't behave that way towards the executives at the game on the podium. Yes, a president can give a hug, but needs to act in a more diplomatic and colder way. I agree with you. So if you accept that as president what you did was wrong, and it was a mistake, and it was inappropriate, there's only one woman you did that to. You didn't kiss any of the others on the lips, only Jenny Hermosa. And whatever the circumstances that led to that moment, which all happened very fast, and putting aside anything else, if you accept all that, surely the honourable thing to do, if you're an honourable man, is to accept that for whatever reason she feels, having thought about what happened and seen what happened, that she was violated in some way and that it was made her feel bad. Wouldn't the honourable thing as a gentleman be to say, I'm sorry. I have three daughters. I have seen the reaction before, during and after. Again, I'm going to say that this was all down to a very happy moment, a celebration, a euphoric moment. There was no harm, no sexual content, no aggression, nothing like that. The significance of the kiss to Jenny would have been exactly the same as a kiss to one of my daughters. Between friends and family, that's very, very common. I understand, but here's what I would say. If one of your daughters ends up playing football for Spain, and she ends up winning the World Cup, and she goes up to get her medal, and there's a male president who is much, much older, and he grabs her, and he kisses her on the lips, and she's the only one of the whole team he does that to. And he admits afterwards he shouldn't have done it, 
and it was a mistake. I bet you as the father of your daughter, with the roles reversed a bit, would say he should just apologize to my daughter. Independientemente de quien sea el padre, quien sea Irrespective of who the father is, who the daughter is, to consent in adults in a moment that was mutual, tienen ese comportamiento gestual mutuo, where she lifted me up, todo lo que ocurre. Incluso hay una pregunta where I asked her a question that you can clearly see. There was no intention, no harm. This shows that actually this was just a mere anecdote. But you understand she doesn't think it was consensual. I, I think I answered you. Yeah, I'm just saying you understand that she doesn't agree. I have my version. If other persons change version is not my, my, uh, I don't know, no, no, no es cuestión mía. Let me ask you, Luis, when you, when you were married, I know you're divorced now, but with your mother of your daughters. I'm not going to speak about No, 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 I'm not asking you to. I'm just private. saying, I, I'm not asking you to. I'm just going to ask you so one, much. I'm ask you one sort of general question. Sometimes in a marriage, it, if the man doesn't think he's in the wrong, but his wife does think he did something wrong, Sometimes a man just says sorry. Anyway, you don't feel that. Es que creo que la comparación, comparar esto con un matrimonio, es parte del problema. Es parte del problema. I would say that this is not about comparing this to a marriage or between two partners or ideologies. Es una cuestión de una celebración de un gesto con una intención. This is merely a world happy event. Con ninguna mala fe, ya lo he repetido muchas veces. And nothing more. To compare it, there is no comparison. You've come under ferocious pressure for three weeks now. On you, on your family, it's been very difficult for your daughters, they're young girls. I can only imagine as a father myself, I have a daughter who's around the age of one of your girls. Incredibly difficult. There comes a point, perhaps, when the pressure is just so relent relentless that you do think about what you should do with yourself and your future. Many people think you should resign as president. What are you going to do? I love so much my daughters, um, and they, they love me so, so much. I'm uh, very happy and I'm very proud of them, very, very proud of them. They are very near to me. About my resignation, yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yeah, I'm going to. Yes, because I cannot continue my work for, for two or three, or three reasons. First of all, I have a suspension. And this suspension is just starting and is going to continue, I'm sure. Because if you can see how it was done, it's going to continue. At the same time, um, I think that the, the Federation I, is not a question about if I can support or know this mediatic uh, tsunami. It's about to know how it's going to affect to the Royal Spanish Football Federation. And I love my country and I love football. And I don't want damage for them. Another third uh, item about it is uh, we we are running for the World Cup in 2013. We made an incredible job during the last five and a half years. Uh, we started, uh, Fernando Gomez, the president of Portuguese Federation, and me more than five years ago with this. Um, I think that uh, now is better for this bit for me to go out. And I spoke. Uh, not directly, but to UEFA, and they are agree. And then I cannot be egoist and to take the chair and not to move myself, because the situation changed so much from the moment I say, I'm not going to resign. And now, changed so, so much in three weeks. I don't now it's incredible how, how fast can we sign institution. What was the final moment for you? Was it talking to your family, your dad, perhaps? Uh, yeah, my, my, my father, uh, my daughters, I spoke with, with them. 
Um, it's not, they know it's, it's not a question about me and some friends very, very close to me. Uh, and they say to me, Luis, now you have to focus in your dignity and to continue your life because uh, if not, probably you are going to damage people you love and the sport you love and the beat you built with uh, some people a long time ago. Now it's very, very near the resolution next September in one year. Then when someone is not thinking only about himself, because I had to support a lot these uh, three weeks, but it's uh, more a question of not only me. And then an attitude, of, an attitude of me can affect third parties very important. And this is the, in this situation now, uh, the more intelligent and the thing I had to do. How do you feel now you've made that decision to resign? It's a huge thing to do. You have the most powerful job in Spanish football. You've loved that job. It should have been the greatest day of your life, winning the World Cup. It's turned out to be the worst day of your career. And now you've lost the job that you love, how but do you life feel about Life is that? life, life is life, and we have to, to be open-minded with this and continue. Um, uh, not to look at everybody, what you had. Uh, one thing will come, but, and good things, for, for sure. I'm going to work, I'm, I, I'm young, and I, I only hope to have uh, health. To, to be healthy, to, to be with my family, to work strong, whatever I'm going to do. I had some projects with uh, uh, some people that were in a part because I focus 100% of my life in, in football. And I hope uh, now to, to start again with them and other news. Um, of course, I love so much and I was very happy, very happy these five years with a lot of problems with uh, penal actions, with all you can say, but I was fully happy uh, being involving 100% of my life with Spanish football and European football also. That one kiss, Lewis, has turned out to have pretty horrendous repercussions for you. Do you wish you'd never kissed Jenny could, Hermosa? Could be, could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, people um, sometimes has to go with other more serious things. Um, uh, football, Spanish football, can be calm with this. I always act with uh, uh, honest, honestly. Then, and I'm thinking that finally I'm speaking in English with you. Well, I understand you wanted to speak in Spanish because you wanted no, to no, be no, no, no. quoted accurately. And I understand but, okay, that because I, you are I, facing I feel comfortable. a potential criminal plot. I understand No, that. no, I feel comfortable because this is not a thing of my, uh, the, the criminal action of the prosecutor. Uh, again, I, I didn't have the, the resolution, but the media said that was the prosecutor. Okay, I, when I read, I will know. But about football, football is so big and will continue with... Uh, with uh, the best player and without them, because they are coming back new people and, and the, the Spanish Federation will be what do you say? Federation. What do you say, Lewis, to, to women watching this who may only know about you from what they've seen that day and from what they've read since or seen on television since about you? What do you say to women who think that what you did was a real affront to women's football, to women? Uh, and they look at you and think, why did you do that? Well, Women football, uh, no chance to, to, to comment the, the results, sport results, no chance to comment uh, the investment we did. This is uh, completely the most important of the history in these five years. And I'm proud of all my team that did it possible. And about women in the street, uh, when I see uh, then uh, we were speaking before to start the, the interview with one friend of me is coming with me and a lot of people, a lot of women say to me, I'm with you, uh, you had a mistake, but this is not what people say in some media, then be strong, we are with you, we are with you. And this is, I don't know, I don't want to say a percentage, but 
hay eh, re, re, re confort, confort, comforted, the, comforted. Sorry. That some people support you, yeah. Not some. I think a lot of, a lot of, uh, but not because they are supporting a mistake. No, they censure the mistake, of course. But they support me because this mistake is not what other people are talking about. It's a mistake that cost you your job. Uh, I think that uh, when you have a lot of people looking at you, you have to be excellent. Uh, I don't know if 100% of time, but in a lot of time. And I, I wasn't excellent. And uh, now I, I had to take a decision, and like I said to you, is to say I don't move and to complicate the future of some people and the sport I love and the institution I love. And I think it's uh, more generous. And, um, Have you told your daughters that you are going to resign? In the moment I finish this interview. But they know me, and when when we spoke yesterday night about uh, the damage is receiving the federation, uh, today I received a call of one of them coming here to to England. Um, I know that they they know they know me very well. Your daughters, yeah. So they they expect you to do this? No, they they expect. Uh, to me, to be happy, to be happy to continue and uh, to take responsible decisions. And it's responsible not to damage other uh, people for one particular item of you. Finally, Lewis, do you have a message for the... And, I, and I want to add one thing. Yeah. I, I spoke with my close team the day before of the General Assembly and I said to them, I don't want to resign. Let wait the two or three uh, procedure is in one month the decisions if i continue without problem i will make a convocatory of elections and they all know this this decision they they knew that i was thinking about to go or no but finally i, I decide to continue but now uh, i don't have better way because i'm going to to make uh, make suffer, make pain uh, the institution I was president is not the correct way. Finally, do you have a message for the Spanish women's team? Because they won the World Cup. It should have been the greatest thing of their lives. And maybe it will be down the line, but for the three weeks afterwards, I hope all they've had to talk about and read about is you and the kiss and the crotch grabbing and everything. Do you have a message for them? I, I, I hope... Uh, in the future, you can uh, you can see. I hope you can watch what the meeting we have all is um, in videos. I hope um, I have a lot of text, um, some messages with uh, players, doctor, physios, um, coaches. Um, for me, this is all happening because after of this news and problems, all change. Then for me, the more, the, the, the pure is what I have here and the conversation we have face to face and between our uh, WhatsApp, uh, you know. Well, Lewis, I wasn't expecting you to resign in the interview, but I'm grateful to you for your honesty today in telling us that news. And I guess in the end, people will watch the whole interview and they'll make their own minds up about what they think of you. I know from talking to lots of people that there are lots of different opinions about what happened. It is a complicated issue. Um, but I wish you well, and uh, I appreciate the interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. I respect all the opinions, but I continue in my idea that one thing is to have a mistake, and another thing is to call one thing what is not. Thank you for the opportunity. You know that now that we are in the end, I admire so much, and I never thought that I'm going to be sitting you know with, what, Lewis? With Mr. I, didn't, Morgan. I, I don't like the acting. I, I didn't think I'd I be interviewing like. Lewis.
Rubiales, right? But you've become in the last three weeks one of the most famous people in the world, not for the reasons. You don't like football. You have to yeah. support football and to see more football. You, you will be more happy, happier than you are. Good to see you. Thank you very much. The same for you. Thank you.